Hi folks, we're going to make strawberry shortcake tonight. And all you need is an angel food cake mix, an angel food cake pan, this is very important, a large glass mixing bowl, an electric mixer, and a long serrated knife. And certainly don't forget fresh strawberries. We want to start out by following the package directions. We preheated the oven to 350 and I removed the lowest, uh, the middle rack of the oven. So I poured in the cake mix. I'm also pouring in one and quarter cup of cold water and I'm going to mix that with the electric mixer on medium for a minute and a half. As you can see, it becomes really fluffy and can overflow in the bowl. So you want to make sure you have a good deep bowl. Now we're going to pour it into an ungreased angel food cake pan. And just pour that evenly by rotating the pan. And get all that good batter out with your uh, spatula. Then I spread it around evenly. Even get a bit of shake so it'll settle. Then I'm going to place in the preheated oven. It's on 350. I'm putting it on the lowest rack in the oven. And we're going to bake that for about 40 minutes. Until golden brown. As you can see, this beautiful golden color. Immediately from removing it from the oven, you want to have a glass bottle. We had an empty um, bottle ready to go here. You just invert the cake by inserting the bottle there and turning it upside down. This will help cool the cake and it takes about an hour, hour and a half. In the meantime, we're going to slice some freshly washed strawberries. And I placed them in a glass bowl and I have a quarter cup of cane sugar. Just sprinkle that on top. I'm also going to drizzle some um, fresh honey just for a little extra taste. And give that a good stir. We're going to cover this and refrigerate while the cake is cooking. I mean cooling. When you're ready, just cut around the edge with your long serrated knife and then kind of pull it, the cake, and pull, turn it upside down over your cake plate. And shake it. It's going to come out. It took a second, but it came out. Now, doesn't that look beautiful? With your long serrated knife, gently saw back and forth so that you don't squeeze the cake and smush it. I'm going to place it on a beautiful plate. We have our sliced strawberries that made a little juice. And drizzle those over. Get a little juice in there. I like to add a little chocolate syrup. This is dark chocolate syrup. Top it with some whipped topping and another little strawberry for decoration. And bon appetit! <laughs> 